2010 15-inch MacBook Pro trackpad replacement. Please note that the battery has to be removed for this procedure. Begin by shutting down and flipping over the MacBook. We'll need to remove the three long Phillips head screws first. Now remove the seven short Phillips head screws. After removing these ten screws, the rear panel cover should be free. Go ahead and remove the rear panel cover. Battery removal. Begin by removing the three tri-wing screws securing the battery. The screw all the way on the left is hidden behind the tape. Pull up and remove the battery out of its socket. It's still connected to the logic board. Disconnect it by prying it left to right with your fingernail. Trackpad removal. Remove the four trackpad screws. They're the outer screws, not the inner screws in each corner. Open up the MacBook at a 45 degree angle. Lift the trackpad cable lever. Make sure that the lever is up as you can damage this connection. Be very gentle when lifting the lever, it can pop out. Disconnect the trackpad cable. It's partially glued to the trackpad. Trackpad installation. Insert the trackpad into the socket and reconnect the trackpad cable. Once it's reconnected, press down and lock in the trackpad cable lever. Pry the trackpad into the socket. Close the MacBook. Install the four Phillips head trackpad screws. Don't tighten them all the way. Adjust the trackpad's position so that left and right cracks are about the same distance. Then tighten the trackpad screws. Battery installation. Peel back the battery cable to give you some slack. About two inches. Connect the battery to the logic board. Insert the battery into the socket now. Install the three tri-wing screws. Install the rear cover panel. Install the three long Phillips head screws first as shown. Now install the seven short Phillips head screws. 